hanging up on customers, rude behavior, and egregious billing mistakes. And it is your water bill that's paying their salaries. This is all part of On Your Side Chief Investigator Ron Regan's ongoing News 5 investigation. He joins us live now. And Ron, your findings support what water customers have been telling you for months. Well, that's right. At the Cleveland Water Department, they've taken service out of customer service. Instead, we found dozens of call takers who'd be fired anywhere else, and customers have had enough. I said I wear customer service. If I ever treated a pa uh, customer, we had to put patients, but a customer the way I was treated, I would no longer have a job. Denise Kaufman called Cleveland Water for help. For quality assurance and training purposes, your call may be monitored or recorded. Her bill was double what she normally pays. Describe for me the quality of customer service you experienced. The representative was completely rude. Rude and insisting. She used water when no one was even home. And I said, well, there's nobody home at 10 o'clock every day for these three months that you're talking about. No you know, one. My children are in school and my husband and I both work full time. He's like, well, either that or you had a leak or you've had some work done. And I said, no leak and no work. I said, so my next step is I will call a plumber. A plumber who found no leaks. But we found Denise and scores of others are routinely abused and ignored by the very people they're paying to help understand their bills. We obtained nearly 300 pages of disciplinary records. We found one of every three violated water department policies, ranging from neglect of duty to excessive absenteeism. Once I called and tried to make contact with the water company and was treated so rude. 74-year-old Thelma Davis never missed paying a single water bill, about $100. Then one day, her daughter found this. Screaming. Mama, you have a bill for $27,000 worth of water. I mean, what kind of bill is this? What did, something happened I don't know about? A $27,000 water bill. Thelma trusted she could call the water department and at least get an explanation. You know, that I could get one person to work directly with me to see what could have possibly happened and see if the water company could have resolved it. Instead, you got bounced around. Well, to all different types of customer service reps, um, supervisors. For two years. For, for two years. So she finally sued. In court, the water department agreed to settle the case. But it's taken a toll. My blood pressure went up, still up a little bit. And, um, it's just the way that you're being treated. So just how rudely are customers treated? We found tape recordings revealing employees providing inaccurate billing, hanging up, and repeatedly interrupting customers who help pay more than $3 million a year in salaries for a squadron of 94 customer service reps. Plus, we found others reading at desks, using cell phones for personal calls, even making inappropriate sexual advances over the phone. And one customer service rep was overheard screaming, I would have her up. Not about to take no from no one. And when I got this bill, I almost had a heart attack because this is not, that, that can't be right. It just can't be right. It just cannot be right. Frida Wolf had questions about her bill. It was hundreds of dollars more than usual. They'll take it as if you're doing something or saying something out of the way to them and they'll either hang up on you or they will not allow you to speak to who you asked for. And there's almost no consequence for rude behavior. Every one of 32 disciplined employees remains on the payroll, receiving only suspended days from work. But there are consequences for the water department. Cleveland is ranked um, one above the lowest across the whole of the nation. Andrew Heath is with J.D. Power, the most recognized customer service firm in the world. It found Cleveland's water department is ranked nearly dead last compared with others nationwide. The city of Cleveland was one of the water utilities nationwide that had more than most customers calling up saying they had a problem with the bill and that the bill was too high. We did find one who was fired, but not by the water department. She abandoned the workplace during a staffing emergency at Cleveland EMS that found it was an egregious act 
completely disregarding the citizens of Cleveland. But that didn't stop Cleveland Water. It calls her a customer service rep, paying her $40,000 a year. I think the relationship with the water company needs to be fixed. While the water department declined to respond to our investigation, but more than 200 Cleveland water customers did. In an exclusive News5Cleveland.com survey, 90% rated customer service as terrible, and 96% said they had never heard of their right to a water review board hearing. You can check it all out on our website, News5Cleveland.com. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Reed.